you receive a notification like this, you can choose to install the new Kotlin plugin if you'd like. If you do not receive one of these new notifications, you can go ahead and disregard this part of the video. You will receive these types of notifications when new versions of Kotlin and the new version of Kotlin plugins have been released. You can go ahead and click install. It'll download the new plugin in the background here and it'll show you the progress here. This is the plugin that's for IntelliJ here. You actually see these plugins by going to preferences and then you go to plugins. So if we go to preferences, you type plugins here. You can see all the various plugins that are installed inside of IntelliJ here. And you could search for Kotlin and you'd see that we have just recently installed it, so we would need to restart the IDE, as you can also see through this window down here. After you click on the restart button, IntelliJ will restart, and the new version of Kotlin will be loaded. We can close this window, and we're back in our main.kt file. At this point, the Kotlin plugin has been updated inside of IntelliJ, and you're ready to go.